Burnley have been relegated. Oh, and in Football Manager too. And a rumour has it they are looking for a change around the club. The man with a large head. No, not me, silly. Vincent Company is the favourite to take over as their new manager. But who exactly is Vincent Company? The manager. He hasn't done too badly at Anderlecht. They finished second last season. Boy, let me tell you, Burnley fans will be excited to hear. They scored the joint most goals in the Belgian top flight whilst also averaging 55% possession. That does not sound like the Burnley we know apart from Vincent Company does love a 442. So today's plans are to take over Burnley as Vincent Company in Football Manager where we are now in the championship and we are going to change the club just like Vincent Company will or should or might. I don't know. And the next average age is 25. Keep that in mind. And we are now going to transform Burnley into a possession based team. And we have to make some Vincent Company type signings. This shall be interesting. Stay tuned and let's go. Yes, my people. Welcome, welcome. And yeah, welcome. We are Burnley today. And well, we are actually Vincent Company today. As you can see, Vincent, it's not even Vincent. I've, I've, I've actually misspelled Vincent there. Ah. Oh howler howler of a start so we have corrected it we are vincent the real company and we are going to be taking over burnley trying to get them back into the premier league and possibly stay for one more year after we get to the premier league that's all down to you let me know what you want in the comments but we are going to be doing one season and what we're actually going to do is quite interesting listen listen it's quite interesting so <laughs> what i've done is i've gone away i've obviously watched and let play some football they do like to play in a 4-4-2 so things aren't changing that much but the tactics we are now a possession based team i'm gonna try and replicate what vincent company does in real life into football manager and then we have to find those key players for well for burnley i was gonna say vincent company but we are vincent company aren't we but they have to have a similar profile to what um vincent company is using in real life so for just an example just wazerski i mean we all know who he is he was an absolute beautiful one the kid on football manager still is still is but in real life he plays similar to a false nine he plays a certain amount of key passes during the game he completes a certain amount of dribbles in real life and yeah per game <laughs> so what i've done is pulled some of the stats so we can have a similar player and one way we've done this is we simmed the first season we've done this about 10 times waiting for burnley to get relegated they finally got relegated now we've got some data to play with and that is what we are going to do in this video it should be fairly fairly fun so right now what you're looking at the screen is vincent the real company he actually looks like vincent company as well of course he did because i used that 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 face model generator malarkey stuff and i've of course used the vincent company picture not my own picture <laughs> that just wouldn't work the same would it look at him he's a beautiful man he looks like vincent and he looks like company and that is what we're going to roll with today beautiful football boots and we are going to be choosing uh burnley my mouth isn't even working at the moment they've actually made some signings already so we can actually look at some of the signings they've made sammy castellejo from Milan, we've got Jamal Lascelles from Newcastle, Hamza Childbury from Leicester, and we've got Antonio Sin... Sin... Yeah, we got that dude from Torino. I mean, some of them uh, we're probably gonna sell. We are probably gonna sell them, but we need to complete our pro... Uh, um, we need to complete our profile, so we're gonna go to manager style and... Wait, whoa! Put some respect on Vincent Company's name. Come on, come on, he's past playing experience, he's won absolutely every single thing there is to win apart from the world cup apart from the champions league <laughs> but what we're not going to do is make him the best manager in the world because he's absolutely not that at the moment anyway so i found out the game won't let you continue if you have any points left to allocate so what i've did i've just whacked whoa 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 i've pressed the wrong thing i've pressed the wrong thing whack that on 20 give that a 13 there we are we've got a vincent company manager here it's taken us way too long on this page let's confirm and let's start playing burnley hire the real company tell them again tell them again because i don't think they actually heard you guys so the media prediction i mean we've got relegated so surely that cannot be 17th in the championship we're just gonna skip all of this yeah yeah good news bye bye so as you can see here we are burnley have been relegated we are 18th brentford 19th and norwich 
are in 20th place. I mean, football manager almost got it right. Manchester City sitting on top of the tree. Liverpool second. Arsenal, the third best team in England. So, yeah, they pretty much got every single thing right here. Well, Everton done way too good. Way, way too good. And that is probably where Tottenham deserve to be. So, let's look in the inbox. Let's see what's cracking. Let's see what's cracking at Burnley before we do anything. I mean before we do anything yeah so tactics induction what we're going to do because i've already been a cheeky little bugger i've already created my company tactics so we're just going to load in here it is vincent company we're going to load it in and here is the 442 i mean we can spend a little bit of time talking about this fantastic 442 i'm going to throw up a pass map and this is kind of the shape that um and the like throw in their 442 but i've also got some notes i've got some notes i've got some key notes so my head is gonna to this side because i've got my notepad right here so Anderlet scored the joint most goals with 80 the average or they've got an average age of 25 that's not really important for the tactics Anderlet's average possession is 55 percent which is the third highest which is one reason why i've gone with a positive mentality Anderlet have the third most touches inside the box with 21 and the ppda is at the league's average at 10.07 and the aren't necessarily a heavy press inside but once we are settled in our defensive shape the trigger press is is bang in the middle and the did have the fourth lowest challenge intensity now when i'm saying some of these um words i'm actually going to put the actual meaning on the screen as well so you guys know what i mean when i'm saying things like challenge intensity how could challenge intensity be at a number well guess what it is and the also completed the most three balls with 11.41 so we do have pass into space and Anderlecht do have the second most passes into the final third. So they are a progressive team. Again, one reason why I went with a positive mentality. If Vincent Company goes to Burnley, he's not literally going to copy and paste, download his own tactics at Anderlecht, plug it in at Burnley, and then voila. That is likely not going to happen. But this is the tactic. So very important. Quickly, we do need to find a full nine. We need to find a complete wing back. Someone that can put in all these crosses because Sergi Gomez putting 5.25 crosses per 90 which is the second most you know what when it comes to through balls as well the left winger he played 2.03 through balls per 90 which is the 10th most joshua zertsky as well the false nine he played 2.01 through balls touches in a penalty box the striker had the second most in the whole belgium league with 6.26 so that's one reason why he's the advanced forward but also he got caught offside a lot i pretty much summed it up and if you guys want a summary here it is Anderlecht are generally a dominant side looking at the average when comparing Anderlecht with their opponent they play with a higher match tempo play more passes per session have a lower long pass percentage a lower ppda meaning they generally press more than the opponents they also have a shorter shot distance and also a lower pass length as well so that there is the quick summary of vincent company at Anderlecht and what burnley fans should or could or would expect so the next part of this little mini 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 rebuild we have to sell some players these players are not going to be able to handle that vincent company ball let's go to our scout and let's have a look at our get off my screen let's have a look at the budget 9.23 million to play with the wage budget is in minus things isn't looking too great so what we're going to do we're going to sell off some of these players so ashley barnes what's wrong with him he's wanted he's also got a slight concern he feels it's time to move on for a new challenge so offer to clubs transfer list Tada! we've also got vidra here i mean he can play as the advanced forward but he is 30 we are looking at the average age as well and i mean now nah, we'll sell him we'll get him off the books he's on 35 grand a week and if we do get promoted as well what's he gonna do in the premier league we do have samu castiello um yeah he looks pretty decent we'll keep him we have goodmanson as well he's pretty decent as that wide midfielder we'll keep him and dwight mcneil of course is going to be one of the key players we are going to be keeping him jay rodriguez though i'm sorry wait 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 let me be smart let's go to the hierarchy and let's not sell any team leaders because things could go absolutely pear shaped so jay rodriguez is probably going to stay meaning yes we do have to sell vidra we're going to keep jay rodriguez of course aaron lennon we are going to be selling you sorry john i meant aaron lennon um josh brownhill will keep him del stevens yep you're gone you're already transfer listed but i'll double check i'll um, double make sure Ashley Westwood. Now, I know you're an actual decent player. You've got a decent average rating as well. So, I uh, will probably keep you. We'll probably keep you. 
that means Jack, no, Jack Cork has to stay. He's a leader. So sorry, Westwood. I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry. Is it too late to say sorry? Chowdhury as well. Oh, you're going to be gone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, You don't have the minerals. You just don't have the minerals. Maxwell Cornet as well. I mean, it's another one. He just doesn't have the minerals. He does have pace, I should say, but he doesn't have the dribble. Like, what's he got to do with his pace? He doesn't have the dribble in the first touch. The flair is not even that great. The passing's not that great. That's, nothing is that great. So, yeah, let's try and get some money. Let's try and get some money. Tada, Maxwell Cornet. You are actually the record signing here as well, but I mean, that doesn't mean anything. Eric Peters. He cannot be our complete wing back. Absolutely no. There's absolutely no need to be checking his attributes as well. Whereas Charlie Taylor, on the other hand, is looking a bit spicy. So we'll keep him. Sorry. So we'll just keep him as well. But he's wanted. And uh, we might have some issues trying to keep him. Now for right back, Connor Roberts. We'll just keep you. You're 26. That means Matt Lawton. Uh, you're decent as well. Yeah, one more year. One. Give us one more year. Ben Me, we keep because he is a key player what i should say he's a team leader so we'll sell kevin long we'll keep tarkovsky tarkovsky sorry nathan collins will keep as well i know you're pretty decent and you're pretty young tarkovsky he is a decent ball playing defender so we might have our bpd already and jamal lascelles jamal lascelles even you are going to be gone so transfer list you wayne hennessy how much are you on sir 25 grand a week sir nick pulp six 66 now and like to play out from the back and nick pulp i mean he can't really throw he, he's got no technique he can't pass he can't kick he's got no first touchy touch guys i mean i might actually just mess things up here but we are going to be is he is he a team leader is he a team leader he's not so we can sell him will norris will keep you you're looking a bit you're, you're not too bad you're not looking too bad i mean you could be our i mean if we can't find a replacement for nick pulp you could be our guy. So that there is our squad all sorted. We know who we're trying to get rid of, at least. We know the tactic, but guess what, guys? Guess what? This is the most intriguing bit about this video today. Well, it's not the most intriguing bit. I lied, I lied, because you have to keep watching the whole video. Don't skip. So there is no most intriguing bit. It's all very <laughs> intriguing. So that was a slip up there. But because I've already spoke about the data, clearly data is very, very important for us and very, very important today. So we the reason why we had to skip the whole season rather than using the editor and putting Burnley in the championship from the beginning is because we wanted data to then make those Vincent company signings actually I might have explained that but just in case I didn't that was it there so we are going to be using data I've already got my filters I believe yes we do so if I import them you can see here my Burnley center back filter the um, deep line playmaker as well the DOP We've also got the false nine filter, the left back as well, and the wingers as well. So we will load them in. We will load them in and have a look at what we found. So when it comes to looking for our false nine, what we are looking at is the age, of course, between 15 and 25. It's very unlikely we're going to find anybody age 15 here. They had to at least start 10 games because these guys need to be a starter. The key passes, at least one key pass per 90 because... Joshua Zerksky is doing roughly the same, roughly the same. But if you try and translate that into football manager, it, yeah, it's roughly one. It's roughly one key pass. Of course, he has to be a striker. XG has to be at a respectable amount of five. Dribbles made per 90, of course, one as well. But we will be playing about with this because it's very unlikely you're going to be finding that perfect striker, especially just getting relegated as well to the championship. We aren't going to find the next Neymar forward here and there's a name right away that gets me Wilfred Nonto or Gonto I mean FM 20 and 21 you was the guy so we are going to be adding you to our shortlist so for me what do I find more important is it key passes or is it the dribbles I mean the key passes we're gonna have a few people that can play those key passes but, but what's very impressive about Joshua Zerski I'm probably butchering his name as well but what is very impressive about him at Anderlecht is his deep completions how he runs deep with the ball and he likes to play some nice few balls but he's also a goal scorer he scores a lot of goals he is the top goal scorer at Anderlet. and here you can see we have now 58 players in our beautiful list so what i've done is sorted out these players by dribbles made or completed here we have dario Bazinga. he's not really that good he's not really that good but we do have this guy as well georgius 
Mick, yeah, someone that I can't, I can't pronounce his name, but he's looking a bit decent. He is. Oh, he's looking decent. He's only 21 as well. And he was born in Leon. So we're going to add him. And so what I'm going to do now is go through these guys carefully. I'm going to create a shortlist and you guys are going to see that shortlist right about <clears throat> now. Welcome to the real Vincent Company shortlist. And you can see that we have some players on this shortlist. So we're going to sort them out by gold. Oh, ooh, whoa, who's this? So we do have someone called... Aaron Aiden, he's on loan from Galatasaray. He plays in, I'm guessing that's the Turkish second division, right? Yeah, it's yeah, it's a bit low, 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 but his attributes aren't looking too bad. His passing lets him down. Jerry Yates, who do you play for? Blackpool, you are now looking, a, yeah, you're looking decent. Jerry Yates, yeah, he's an option. He is certainly an option. Henrique Arujo from Benfica. I mean, you're Portuguese, so you might have some little flair. <laughs> yeah you are you're decent you do look decent so we are looking or keeping an eye out on you but what we can also do as well is sort them by their transfer value because we aren't or we don't have a lot of money to spend ayana stoicher oh i mean he played he's played in europe as well he scored 14 goals so he's better he's doing better than his xg yeah he's 19 2.8 million i think i have found the gem oh my god oh no oh no work permit i forgot about this oh no so we are going to put in a bid in for him and hopefully 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 they will accept and hopefully he gets that work permit as well but next nabil alui how are you doing i mean yeah you are cheap you are but you're just you're cheap but not good david Kyle naki now this is someone that's a little bit familiar with a lot of football manager players he used to be a fairly cheap striker and one that used to do well as well and he still does look fairly fairly decent so again we are going to be putting in a bid because his value at the moment is around one million pound so we have put a bid in there and we also have this Ivan Sapodnik, he's 24. He looks, oh, again, very, very spicy. Bournemouth want him. So hopefully he gets a work permit. Georges, I mean, this is someone that I did say I want, so would likely gain a work permit as well. 3.7 million. Again, that is not exactly breaking the bank. So we put in a bid in for him. Arnold Kalimuendo from PSG. Now, this guy, he should be decent enough for the championship, right? His determination isn't too great. He's not determined. He's not brave. He doesn't get stuck in rarely. But then again, we're not that aggressive of a team. Now, this guy could be fairly decent. He could be playing up top with Weghorst. That is a partnership. Wink. I don't know why we're winking, though. We're just going to wink for the sake of winking. We're putting a bit in for him as well. And we're possibly going to leave it like that. Joe Gilhill. I mean, I added him. I potentially we can get him when the windows opens and he goes back to Leeds, and then maybe we can loan him here as well possibly that can be an option but that there is the false nine search over we have to do this for the wingers the center back and the left back so we are going to breeze through this we're not going to spend the exact same amount of time that we did on the false nine next is for the left back now the left back in real life sergio gomez he completes a lot of crosses that is one thing that really sticks out and that is one thing well one of the things that we are going to go with he also plays a lot of key passes for Anderlecht, so that is another thing that we're looking at as you can see right here key passes per 90 one crosses completed 50 which is a big number for a manager by the way to complete 50 crosses by the end of the season is actually quite impressive now there is one name that really really interests me Yilmaz but as you can see I've already done the search so what we're going to do now is go back to the short list and look at the left backs so now for the left backs it's a little bit short the list is a bit shorter than the strikers and as you can see we do this guy will be the dream pick I think I really think this guy will be the dream pick, but let's look at some of the other guys. We have Theo Indica Matam. He's a bit fast. He is fast, but he doesn't have anything else, really. Tim Handwork. <laughs> you guys are dirty. You guys are dirty. You guys are dirty. Don't be thinking that, guys. Don't be thinking that. Yes, we do have Tim Handwork. <laughs> that comes so childish. Oh, my God. We're, gonna <laughs> We're buying him. I'm so, now he could be oh is he gonna get the work permit unfortunately would probably feign to gain a work permit so yeah ah oh, damn i would have loved the hand worker in our team or hand worker casper denore he is fast he's not really agile though and he doesn't really have balance he gets knocked off the ball fairly easily that is not good enough for someone that we want to see on the ball a lot Suleiman Dumbia. Now this is more. Mm, it's still not quite there. It's still not quite what we are looking for at the moment. It's just one player, and that's Vid Van Yilmaz. Next, Emmanuel Valeri. 
So he, oh, now he might be the priority role over Yilmaz. Yeah, he's got six assists as well. An average rating of 7.01. He, oh, uh, what? He's Italiano. Next, we have Sergi Cardona, 22 plays for Las Palmas in the second division. Ah, uh, this guy, nah, yeah, he looks decent as well. So we're going to put in a bid in for him and at least we can have this guy and we can also have Charlie Taylor. So 2.8, oh, why is these guys failing the work permit? Is it going to be the same for Neto as well? Oh no, of course, Neto, the Brazilians. So the Italian guy and the Spanish guy, none of them will get a work permit. But this Brazilian guy, he's, he's fine with a work permit and he's a bit too expensive anyway. Solomon Luz, ah, I mean, what is that? Leadership one, we can't deal with that. And then lastly, we do have Dominic Thompson, who plays for Brentford, but currently on loan at Ipswich. And I think Yilmaz is going to be the guy for us. I mean, I'm not sure how we're going to afford this, but I mean, company will do his magic. So that was that for the left back. Now we're going to move up just a little higher into the left winger or just the winger anyway. I believe we are sorted on the right because we can play Yudmonson. We can play um, the White McNeil on the right as well. So on the left hand side, it should be inverted. So this guy should be right footed. I mean, we are now looking for key passes, dribbles made, chances created as well. And this is purely because the wingers are also the creative players alongside that left back. So again, we've done the shortlist already. Let's go into the shortlist. So we are looking for a left mid, but we can also look at the right ones as well. We look at the right ones first because sometimes they can play on the left. This guy can't play on the left, but this guy is very, very, very good. I mean, we can, why can Why can we not just turn him into a left midfielder? That's what I'm thinking. He's right footed anyway. So we'll put a bid in there. I mean, it's going to be fairly expensive, but he'll be, oh yeah, damn it. I knew it, work permit issues already. Next, we have Petar Pusic. I mean, let's just ask the agent already. Look, there's no point looking at him. Next, we have Jackson Tachatua. And now this is more of a backup kind of guy. This wasn't necessarily to play as the starting. Look, he will get a work permit as well. Of course he will. Of course he will. He's more of a backup guy anyway, so we'll snap him in just in case. I mean, someone can get injured as football manager loves to injure players. So we'll make sure that we are protected. They protected Ariane Ferrati as well. We'll ask the agent about him. We'll put why is it the guys that are like from a from a different country? Yeah, different country. And what I mean by that is, of course, not a Spain or an Italy, a country that you would think will get a work permit. And this guy is from the Kosovo, and it's no issues with the work permit. And he is he does look decent though, but his pace lets him down. His pace lets him down now let's move over to the left wingers we got Keanu Stuade here who is valued at around 300k he's a bit better than 300k I mean we're just gonna log the bid in oh no work permit now that's the that's the Italian the French the Spanish and now the German so the top five countries you won't get a work permit but if you're from somewhere all the way over there it's fine it's fine you get the work permit next we do have Person, I mean, if this guy isn't available to join us, that is absolutely nonsense. He plays for Ipswich. He plays for Ipswich and he still cannot get work. Oh, this search is, is, is not going well. Next, we have Florent Musleja. I believe that is his name. He, oh, he's not, he's not, he's not all with it with the pace. He is a bit of a set piece specialist, I guess. 750k first. Let me see if he can get a work permit. And of course, absolutely not. Hey, you know. From Las Palmas, the last guy we checked from Las Palmas cannot get a work permit. I would love for this guy to get a work permit. Absolutely would love. Even if they tell me no, I might just push for it. I might just push for it. He's got a 2.7 minimum release clause as well. This is absolutely insane. Timothy Tillman. You know, you know what? At this point, we're just going to have to... We're just going to have to... There we are. We're just going to have to bid for anyone. 1.4 million as well. That's a bit cheap. Nemanja Jovic, 19 years of age. Now, this is the guy that I want. And he will get a work permit as well. This is the guy that I would really, really want. So if Football Manager would just do his damn thing and just give me the guy, life would be perfect. So there we are. We lodged in a bid. It's a bit pricey, but we also have Azarkan here who has played or he does play for Feyenoord. He's 20, he looks decent, but we're not going to be spending around 8 million for him. And lastly, we do have Todd Conwell. A lot of Cantwell, sorry. A lot of us do know about Todd. A lot of us like Todd. But today, we're not going to put in a bid for Todd because of his wage. It's at 40 k Now, moving over to that DLP. And you know what? For the centre-back, we're going to skip that one. And that's only because we already have a decent centre-back. We have Tarkovsky, who can be that brilliant ball-playing defender. But for the DLP... This was our search here. So we are looking for key passes. We are looking for our pass completion rate, but we're also looking for points per game. 
because the DLP is going to be highly, highly influential. So he needs to be a very good player. So someone that was signing needs to be coming to our team on form, if that makes sense. Passes completed per 90 as well, at least 50. Again, that is a very decent number or respectable number in Football Manager. Now, let's... Oh, this shortlist is mahusive. This shortlist is mahusive. Yeah, okay. I'm going to leave him on the shortlist and we're going to go back to him. Hugo... Hugo Vertessen. Now, he plays for Boldo, a very, very intriguing team. His attributes look very decent. You do know that, right? So, we are going to be asking the agent to see if we can get a work permit. And, of course, we absolutely can not. Next is Zapair. Now, he's a central midfielder who plays for Usacek in Croatia. Again, I probably just butchered that name, but that actually rolled off the tongue pretty well. So, we are now going to ask the agent. And, again, yes, he is going to fail. This is going to be very very depressing at this rate he's going to fail as well he plays for las palmas man what is up with his las palmas players tabuni as well he's obviously going to fail we do have better said of course not the ac milan one we're going to ask the agent he's going to oh my days this is absolutely mental here ah oh, so i have found someone that would likely gain a work permit and his name is cartel because he's part of the cartel kyra yilmaz oh yes this is what i'm talking about he likes to take corners he's got a first touch he's also decent at free kicks and he's only 21 he kind of oh did not see that wage or value i did not see that value i cannot lie to you and i'm not sure about spending roughly nine million on this guy here but sometimes you just got to do what you got to do so we're just going to lodge that bid in for yilmaz amir I'm absolutely not going to attempt to pronounce that surname. Hello, work permit. Look, that's some playmaking traits. His technique's on 12, but of course, we're still going to lodge in that bid because we are actually struggling right now to find a DLP. So the bid for him has been sent in the post, waiting for a reply. We also have Biscuits as well. Yes, the official, the official Biscuits. And we are talking about Oreo Biscuits here. So let's put in a bid for him as well because he's absolutely stunning attribute wise not look wise i don't even know what it looks like i'm guessing he looks like biscuits so we have put in a bid in for biscuits he's probably the priority and then we have martin payero who is yeah he's not going to join us he plays for middlesbrough he costs too much anyway so now a little recap let's look at the bids that we have put in a lot of bids i mean if everything goes through we've spent 26 million pound there some money that we absolutely do not have i'm i'm sure i'm sure this is going to be over 26 million pound oh potentially 62 i was going to say of course again you guys cannot see because my face is right in the way i've also got some gray hairs so that is it for day one that was a long day one that was a long process at burnley the first day in the office for vincent the real company but what we're going to do now is well i'm going to put some contract offers in i'm going to try and get some of these players in and then i will find you guys or see you guys when some of these players have arrived so i'll see you guys in a jiffy the new signings have arrived we are at game one so match day one even the first game is against bournemouth at home but we have made some signings before we simmed the season and check out the results did vincent company manage to get bernie promoted we shall see but for signing number one, we did buy a left back, Rid Van Yilmaz. How much did we sign him for? 6.5 million. It's not bad whatsoever. Now, he's going to be the first team left back or the starter left back. And then we have Charlie Taylor to be kind of the backup. Um, ah, no, don't listen to the star ratings. Do not listen to the star ratings. Yes, we did get Sergio. Sorry, I meant Oreo Biscuits as well. Biscuits. <laughs> we did manage to get him a very, very decent um, deep line playmaker. Now, an interesting thing about him. Tottenham Hotspur were also interested, but they just didn't put the bid in. We did, and then we managed to get him. Next, we have Nemanja Vidic. Oh, sorry, Jovic. Yes, a left winger, 19 years of age. Now, this one is definitely one for the future. He's got a very good or a good current ability, but potentially he can be a very good player for us. And we also have Georges Miko. Yeah, Mika. We did buy Mika a full nine. Now, he's not going to start the season right away, I don't think, anyway. Again, someone that has potential. But if our or one of our main um, starting strikers get injured or suspended, then we will put him in. So now looking at the outgoings, we did get we did manage to get rid of Maxwell Corner and for 10.5 million. So more than the eight point something million that somebody else offered us. And he's gone to Brighton. Ashley Barnes went to West Brom for 150k. Dale Stevens went to Reading for 110k. Ashley Westwood, he went to FC Mitchelland 
for 5.5 million. Matic Vidra went all the way to Turkey for 1.9 million. We got rid of Lennon. He also went to Turkey. Kevin Long went to Sheffield United. Now, for the more recent transfers, we did manage to get this guy, Arnold Calamuendo. Now, I'm very, very excited about this, but I'm also very excited about Joe Gilhart as well. We got him on loan. Now, he should help us get promoted in that first season. And what a star striker he is. He's going to be the full nine on the left-hand side, allowing, allowing Weghorst to be that main striker. Now, you guys probably would have switched it. You probably would have him as the advanced forward, given his pace and his balance and his finishing, dribbling, and all of that good stuff. But then again, I needed someone that was a similar profile to the Force 9 that company uses in real life. We did manage to get Cartel, Yura, Yilmaz as well. So now we've got two Yilmazes. I mean, Turkey. We've got a beautiful relationship with Turkey. We sold two players to Turkey and then we brought in two players from Turkey as well. So we have got a central midfielder. He's going to be the backup to Biscuits for our DLP role and then we have Thomas Arujo that we managed to get for 4.3 million yes and he was wanted by Juve, NR and Milan I believe it was so it's very nice that we got him again another one with potential outgoings we got rid of Eric Peters we got rid of Antonio Sanabi or whatever his name is um he was already here we managed to get 5.75 mil for him Burnley bought him for 12 I mean that's a heavy loss I didn't even notice that Hamza Chowdhury he's gone out on loan we got rid of Jamal Lascelles for three million but but a big one here and i know i said i was not going to sell a team leader but when wolves came in with an eight million bid for ben me who is 32 i thought oh i don't want to sell him but if i can get 10 i will sell and guess what we managed to get 10 mil for ben me so that is a well for me that's a fantastic signing or sell even and now this is what our squad looks like for the first game of the season which is against Bournemouth so we've got four goalkeepers we're trying to get rid of Nick Pope but it's not happening we're trying to get rid of Bailey um Perrick Farrell as well it's not happening but this is our team so we have Nathan Collins Targoski a Ruhol, and we also have well that is our center backs and then Sergio Busquets can also play at center back smart smart thinking by Vincent company there for right back Matt Lowe and Connor Roberts same right backs I was that was there from last season but we also have nathan collins that can come in left back charlie taylor and rid van yilmaz similarly we can try and just force one of these left backs at left back if i'm talking like we're not going to sim this we're simming this by the way so dribble squares in midfield with jack court brown hill and where is yilmaz there's no that's the wrong yilmaz oh they've thrown him in the under 23s the disrespect and yeah so we got yilmaz as well dwight mcneil can play in central midfield for the wingers, we have Matt Neil, Jay Rodriguez, Yudmanson, Jovic, Samu Castelio. And then up front, we have Georges Mika, we have Yo Gelhart, we have Weghorst, and we have Callum Mwendo. I've probably butchered about 90% of those names there. But it doesn't matter. We move. We absolutely move. Now, what we're going to do is sim a season. And at the end of the season, we're going to see how well the real Vincent Company did at Bournemouth. And if you guys want a second episode where we get into the second league or second season in the premier league then you guys can let me know in the comments that would be fantastic but of course i don't want to be going through that effort to make a video for something that nobody's going to watch so now let's skip the season and see how well we have done with burnley this should be interesting yes my people we are back with the results how did vincent the real company do at burnley in the sky bet championship i mean i can tell you for free we did absolutely fantastic so let's look at the competitions in the sky bet championship burnley vincent company have been promoted they played 46 and they won 36 they drawn six and they lost four getting a points tally of 114 they were magnificent in the english fa cup though they got knocked out in the fourth round round by AFC Wimbledon and in the Carabao Cup they got knocked out in the fourth round by Arsenal but how well did they do in the Sky Bet Championship Weghorst scored 56 league goals insane his average rating was an eight that's absolutely mental Dwight McNeil coming in second with 7.77 with that average rating Weghorst with 20 man of the match awards and Nick Pope with 21 clean sheets so if we look at the stats in a little bit more detail you can see Burnley scored 110 goals looking at the possession oh now Vincent company had 55% in real life we've got 53 not too bad I mean I say in real life we are the real Vincent company so I have no idea what we're talking about here clean sheets Burnley with 21 fewer conceded Burnley coming in third place with 38 now looking at the top goal scorers Weghorst with 
56. I mean, he basically ate all the pies here. And then looking at the assist, Dwight McNeil joined top with 17 assists. Weghorst with 13. He had an absolutely insane season. So it's no wonder why Weghorst has the most man of the match. He also has taken the most shots. Looking at the most dribbles, ah, nobody's there. None of this is really important to us. But the clean sheets, Nick Pope, fewest conceded. Nick Pope just in that list on eighth position. So let's look at the squad and see how some of the new signings got on Weghorst. He's got 63 goals in all competitions, but Joe Gelhart, he's got 16 goals and 10 assists. That is fairly, fairly decent as the um, full nine. Dwight McNeil, he's got 14 goals and 21 assists. Thomas Arujo has five goals. I mean, that's, yeah. Josh Brownhill has five. Nomanja Jovic has four, a new signing there. Georges Mika as well, he has four. And Busquets, another new signing has three. Callum Wendell, he also has has three as well so some of the new signings are on the score sheet quite regularly so we have Yilmaz here with eight assists now he's another new player here Nemanja Jovic he's got eight assists as well another new player Ridvan Yilmaz he's got five assists as that left back on complete wing back we did kind of chip and change because as you can see here his rating wasn't too great and we wanted to get better ratings but we just couldn't get better ratings out of that player basically but it wasn't just Yilmaz it was also Charlie Taylor as you can see in his last five games he played a 6.74 so actually worse than Yilmaz in his last five games so yeah I'm not quite sure what's going on over on the it's the left hand side the left hand side didn't perform great when it comes to the ratings but Nemanja Jovic I mean for his first season four goals eight assists a 12 goal contribution we cannot cannot complain whatsoever as well as the um, fullback as well he's got five assists but Squirts he has three goals five assists a very good playmaker for us Thomas Arujo I mean he came in later on in the season I believe he got a lot let me just check because I did come in and check myself yeah I think he started a lot of the games fairly recently he didn't start the season off like that which is why he's only got 26 starts compared to Nathan Collins who has 37 and Tarkovsky wherever he is he's got 38 so you can see that Thomas Arujo played less games but of course he isn't as good as the other two centre-backs. Georges Mika, he's got 14 games and four goals, two assists to his name. Arnold Calamendo with six starts, three goals and zero assists to his name. So the new signings, they fitted in fairly well. Vincent Company knows what he's doing. Burley fans should be extremely excited. But we have been promoted to the Premier League. Now, this is up to you guys if you want to carry... Oh, Nick Pope making nine saves. This is up to you if you guys want to carry on with this save. We are, of course, um, the holders of the championship title, but we now have 40 million to spend, a large way budget available as well. I mean, the second season could be fun. You're Goodmanson is gone, Matt Lowton is gone as well, so we need to find a backup winger, we need to find a backup right back or a first team right back, I don't know, that is all down to you guys. So, season one, Vincent, the real company, got Burnley promoted, he also made a lot of signings, those signings done extremely well, and we've also got a nice transfer kitty as well. I mean, the next episode, if we do another episode, we wouldn't carry it on until like season 20 or whatever, but if you guys do want a next episode, maybe then as well, we can buy some youth coaches, we can buy a new, a new head of development as well hopefully get in a new banging region so we can really change this club around but i hope you guys enjoyed this video it was extremely fun you guys some of you guys saw a new side of me as well a different side of me that you guys don't necessarily see on youtube so i hope you guys have enjoyed this video again if you guys want to see another video of this then let me know in the comments and yeah Vincent the Royal Company, Burnley fans, here is a conclusion. Be excited if Vincent Company <laughs> is coming over to Burnley. If well, if we can take football manager seriously, then you guys are in some good hands. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys soon. Shout out to my Patreon. Stay safe. Peace out. God bless. Boop.